The Broodmother and Orchomanus are two optional bosses in Grounded. Each requires a specific item to summon them. In this video, I'm going to show you where to find the Broodmother BLT recipe, the Orchomanus Kebab recipe, and where to find both bosses. First up is going to be the Broodmother BLT recipe location as well as where you can find the Broodmother. Both are in the hedge. I am over here in the bottom right corner of the map. The hedge is this L-shaped structure here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be entering over here by the beginning of it. This is the way to get up into it if you've never been here specifically. If you've been in the lab, you can actually go and back through the lab. It'll be a little bit shorter, but I'm going to show you as if you had never been in here. Now, as we're going through here, I'm going to skip over things. So you're going to make sure you go into the field station, grab the items that are in there. There's going to be lots of broken parts of the lab up here, or se separate little parts of the lab where you can grab stuff. Also, I'm in a custom game mode where the bugs are not going to aggro me, so I don't have to worry about that. There's a couple of spiderlings right here that are going to bother me. That would normally bother me, but they're not here. Here we have a juice box. On top of the juice box is actually a milk molar. I'm just going to point out things as I'm going past here. And then we're going to head down here. To your left, you're going to see a room up there. Make sure you go up there. There's something important in that room as well. So we're going to head down this way. And we're going to head over here. Over there down that stick is actually a shortcut to the bird bath. I have a video for that if you want to check that out. And then we are going to go this way down here. As you're going through here, you want to probably break these web sacks. There's going to be spiderlings in them, but there's also a chance of getting tier two, some tier two bug parts that are useful. There's some stuff in this room you want to make sure you grab raw science as well as some other items. As you're up here, you also probably want to chop down all these webs here. They're going to give you the web fiber for silk rope. Also, make sure you have a dandelion. If you don't have a dandelion topped equipped and you fall, you will end up getting seriously injured. So we're heading down this zip line here, and we're going to come upon the flying discman. The flying discman is actually the location of where the broodmother is. So the broodmother used to actually be here when she was first added. She's since been put up here in this arena. So once you get the Broodmother BLT recipe and craft the Broodmother BLT, you're going to head up into there, and that's where you summon her in. So we're going to continue along to find the recipe. The recipe is actually hidden just beyond or outside of the main lab. Be careful as you're going across here because these very thin sticks, it's very easy to fall off. So we're going to grab this zip line right here. Head down into this other part of the lab. Again, make sure you grab everything in here. I'm not going to grab it because this is just a world I put together for recording this video. We're going to head up this branch right here and then up this mushroom step path. It's going to take us towards the main lab. And again, when you're walking on these really thin branches, just take your time. There's no reason to sprint through here because if you fall off, you're going to have to go all the way back around and start over. So we're going to get on this first zip line here that goes into the main lab. You can see this is the main part of the hedge lab. You'll know you're in the right spot if you come down and you see this computer here. That's the start of the lab. We're going to come up back outside of that room and go up this really narrow stick here. Then we're going to follow the mushroom path again down. And we're going to head up this mushroom path. We're going to make a left. And this is going to take us to the room where the Broodmother BLT recipe is located. So it's actually up in this room right here. This part's a little tricky, so definitely be careful while you're doing it. It's very easy to fall off right here. Just take your time, gradually walk up. Head into the room here. And then inside here, you're going to see we got the Broodmother Research Notes, which is going to give you the Broodmother BLT recipe. So I go into my crafting menu. We're going to see it's going to be under here, under the food areas, and it's going to be down here. Broodmother BLT recipe. Uh, bombardier part, two bombardier parts, two ladybug parts, and one thistle needle. In order to get to the lab where you can find the orchid manis kebab, you're going to have to defeat the assistant manager because there's a button you need to press in one of the parts of the underwater pond area, the koi pond area, that you're going to need the assistant manager card to open the door for. So I am right here by the oak tree. We are straight in the middle of koi pond. So what you're going to want to do is come down where these two leaves are together, and there is a lab down here. Now, you're going to probably want to make sure you have some gill tubes on because it's, it's not a short swim, but it's not a... It's not a terribly long swim, but it's not a short swim. Down here is going to be a lab. You're going to see it sticking out right here. There's going to be a door in here. And this door is going to open up. I have not even completed the pond lab, so that's not a prerequisite for this. Although at this point, you probably will have. So we're going to come up in here. This There's no air in here, so make sure you have a gill tube or a bubble helmet, preferably. There's some upgrade rocks back there. We're going to want to get in that door over there. But I just wanted to show you what else was in here. This is a very small lab. There's just raw science back here. I don't think there's anything else back there so we want to get in this door in order to open this door you're going to need the assistant manager key card which i've already beat the assistant manager we're going to go in here and make sure you grab these upgrade rocks grab the chest here because i believe the chest has a charm in it so there's the location of the left elf charm and then you're going to want to make sure you press this button 
this button is going to open up the door to the stump lab that is up in the upper right part of the map, which is where the Mantis Kebab, Mantis Kebab recipe location is the notes for it are. So let's head on up there so I can show you where that is because I'm going to be honest with you. I completely missed this thing when I went through it. I had to have someone in my chat tell me that I missed it. And it, even when I went back and looked for it, it was super hard to find. So let's head on up there. Okay, so we're over at the tree stump. Now, when you've turned in burl chips, he will actually show you there's a chip up here. So once you turn in the first one, he'll show you there's a chip in here. I'm going to show you how to get to the lab because it's not exactly the easiest place to find. So we're going to just walk in here. This is a super, super, super dangerous part of the map. There, are, I would not recommend coming up here until you have very high level gear. Inside this area alone, there's several wolf spiders. Coming over to here, you're going to run into all the new bugs for the most part that are just super dangerous. So what we're looking for is the main entrance. And the main entrance is right over here. Now, this isn't even obvious. I walked past it several times. You have a wolf spider spawn here. There's a wolf spider on the other side. To get into here, what we're going to do is we're going to jump up over to here. You should be able to make this jump right here. It's going to take a couple tries to get into it. So now we're in. So you're going to want to make sure you have a couple things for this. A glider and a light source are going to be necessary because you do not want to fall down here and just take critical damage. Now, again, I'm on a custom game mode, so I'm not going to take fall damage, but I would still pop out the glider. Make sure you grab the raw science on the way down. What we're doing is falling down here. This is a giant parkour area. So the fortunately, the notes are right at the beginning. We're going to go straight across. We're going to hop up here. And we're going to go over here. And on the ground, just mixed in with these things, is the Mantis Research Notes. This is going to give you access to the Mantis Kebab Recipe. The Mantis Kebab Recipe is going to be... On the food thing over here so we're gonna go down here and you're gonna see it costs five brew mother chunks two fire ant heads one wood splinter so after you make your way out of this lab what you're gonna do is craft your recipe and if you have the requ requisite parts you can head over to the mantis spawn location or the summoning location so let me show you where that is so when you're ready to fight the orchid mantis what you're gonna do is head over to the top left corner of the map this is where the shed is located and we're up here on the deck now, when you come up here, be careful because the there's lots of black soldier ants and black worker ants. The black worker ants are aggressive up here for some reason, as opposed to the ones that are neutral when you're down on the lower parts of the yard. There's also dust mites up here. So what you're going to do is you're going to head up here on this hose, and we're going to make our way up into these flower pots. Now, as I'm heading up here, one thing I wanted to mention, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, is the Broodmother and the Orchid Mantis are both optional bosses. There's a total of five bosses in the game three of which are optional. These are two of them. I'm not going to mention the other one. I don't want to spoil anything if you haven't found that one. So you do not have to fight the Broodmother or the Mantis to complete the game. In fact, in my new save, I have completed, I've, I've gotten to the point where it's telling me I can finish the game and do the final sequence, and I haven't even fought the Broodmother or the Orca Mantis. So this is the location of where you're going to summon in the Orca Mantis right here. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button, and here's another video you might find helpful as well.